Off he goes. That was bizarre, but he was a quality fish. Look yeah, the colours on him. That's unbelievable. Well, good day, folks. Tommy here from Tommy Time Fishing. We're just on foot at the moment here, and we're taking the opportunity right now just to come drive to the mountains, Mount Borbor in particular. Uh, fish one of the many streams that run off this mountain here. And look, we are very early in the season, so much so, there's still a lot of closed tracks around. So I'm hoping that areas that we have, we have to walk to, like, you know, wouldn't have been fished as much. So maybe there can be a few hungry browns that are really willing to eat and feed, and they haven't really seen too many fishermen this so far this season. So, uh, Look, another bit of adventure here, expecting to really just drive into it, but you know, as, as always, you have to abide by the rules and park at a locked gate there, but I'm hoping, like I said, it hasn't been fished as much lately, so fingers crossed, we're in for a cracking little session here. So we've probably got around about another kilometre or so of walk, and then we'll hit the river, so uh, looking forward to it. Wow, she looks absolutely glorious. It's quite low this time of year, so it's going to be really good fishing, I reckon. Going to be able to fish the nice deep pools, maybe get a few fish in the dries. The little campsite just here, we'll just, uh, we'll just walk over to it. So judging by this tree here falling down, no one's cleared it. I don't think anyone's been here for a little while. I was sort of thinking maybe not to fish this spot because it'd be the first spot that could be access to my car, and I thought people would, would fish it already, but I don't know. I'm gonna try on here. We're gonna give it a go. So, look, it looks relatively shallow here. The dry fire will be good here. Maybe it's a small drop on it. I just spooked the fish then. <laughs> it was tiny. But, um, yeah, so we'll fish a, fish a dry fly, a small drop on it with a little feather tail nymph. And then when we hit the deep pools, we'll just swap over to a longer dropper so we can get that fly running closer to the bottom there. But this sort of stuff here, maybe a drop of about you know, half a metre or so, not running too quick. This should be perfect. So just the flies here we got. I'll run you through them quickly, but pretty standard raw wolf here. That's my dry fly indicator there. I do expect a few fish on that too. I've just got down here. Probably got a little bit too much drop, but that's okay. Just a little kind of olive nymph here with a black bead head. And we'll just flick it around this pool here, this run. Sort of where the bubble line is up there, I reckon it looks like a dynamite spot, but I did speak a fish beforehand. Hopefully he didn't tell his mates there's a, there's a cagey fly fisherman around here. Oh. Okay, so there was one there, a little fish. I think I had my eye on something else which I thought was my dry, but it wasn't. And he came for the dry. But I think he missed it, so... There's every possibility he could come back. Jeez, gotta be honest with you. It's been, a, it's been tough going so far. I've actually seen fish and spotted them. I think I had one little one rise in my dry and really didn't mouth it at all but it's not really actively feeding these fish i think it's water's still icy cold i'm thinking of this sun just bakes this water a little bit just turns the temperature up a degree or two it could be getting towards that optimum temperature for them to be feeding and thriving in so look i think it's just gonna have to be just slog it out wait till that sun really gets up and going and that's what i'm sort of expecting maybe my chances to turn Oh, yep. Oh, I had him. I dropped him. Okay, so I was very slow on the reaction there. So you see, I was a little bit of disbelief, but actually caught a little fish, but anyway.
Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, he's a better fish. Oh, playing up like a second hand lawnmower, this bugger. What's he done? Yeah, he is there. He's just sort of hanging there, isn't he? No, I don't go down there, mate. Come on. Come on, mate. That's it. Play ball. Oh, play ball, mate. There we go. Tell you what. Doesn't need to be said, but it's been tough. Well, he's a lovely fish. Oh, just the colours in these things. That's a quality fish, actually. So he ate the nymph, and... He's a good pounder, easily, mate. Didn't mind that nymph at all. He's a ripping fish. You know, we'll get a quick flick of you, mate. Too good not to. You lovely brownie. See you later, buddy. Hey, we're on the board. You little beauty. You little beauty. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was about to lift that out just so no cast, but always just to be safe, you just cast in the water before you walk into. Yeah, he's a little fella, but that's all right. <laughs> Young brownie. Oh, well, so you would have walked straight through that and spooked him. Not that uh, not that's the end of the world, it's just a little fish, but yeah, it just goes to show. Sometimes you gotta fish that water before you walk into it. Cute little fish, isn't he? Cute little fish. Stop in here, mate. See you later. Okay, we've got a fantastic bit of water here, a bit of a glide, got a little bit of flow. The only problem is, all this, these trees and stuff here, just so right here, it's going to really impact my casting ability here, so... Looks like really good water, there should be a fish in there, but... Whether or not we're going to get a nice uh, cast in and a nice drift, is another question. Just thinking the best way to assess it, really, I think what I'm going to have to do is, just tuck into the left there, and just fish up and across. Me and I'm probably going to miss this sort of water here, but yeah, it's sort of sacrifice you got to make. Oh, there's a big old fish there, and I've got him, have I? What happened there? That was bizarre. Okay, that was really bizarre. So I must have had him on. The, the dry didn't dip down. Have I fair hooked him, have I? I feel like I fair hooked him. Oh, come here, mate. Come here. Come here, buddy. You're nearly in there. There you go. That's interesting. I put a few casts through there. Bloody hell, a few casts. Oh, he's a cracker. Might be a two hand job, this one. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that, folks? That is a look at the colours on him. What a stunning fish! Mm. Off he goes. That was bizarre, but he was a quality fish. Oh, the colours on him. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, I got him. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even see that go down. He's a nice fish too, actually. He's playing ball. It's good. Oh, he. Oh, can't see him though. Oh, he went up there. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, yeah, mate. Tell you what. They're good quality fish. They really are. I mean, they're no longer really like no, these tiny little pan sized like hand sized fish. Yeah, they're like pounders. Genuine pounders, this one here. I mean, look at that. So my net, really, the opening is about 37 centimeters. I reckon it's about 32, 33. Like, he's just a quality fish and the colors, I just can't get over him. In this particular river. Unbloody believable. Mate, one last look here. You're a bloody beautiful fish. How good is that? He's starting to get some nice fish now, really. It's warming up. So, interesting to note, so far as well, all fish have been taking nymphs. Um, I might have had a, a rise on one of my dries earlier on, but really the nymphs are the go at the moment, because water's pretty cold. Not a lot of, uh, you know, bugs like mayflies or any terrestrials and stuff sort of hatching, because the ambient temperature right now is pretty cold, the water temperature's a little bit cold too, so they're sort of hugging the bottom now finding some sluckish water in between like rock crevices or log jams or whatever and they're just sort of just sitting there waiting for things like nymphs just to swim by and they'll come out and nail it but uh look it'd be exciting if we get a couple on the dry as well again a couple of nice surface bites but look we're having a ball here having an absolute ball Oh, that one. <laughs> oh, a lot of slack line out then. Surprised he's still on. Oh, little fella, this one. Hey, little fella. Ah, uh, come here, son. There we go. <laughs> okay. We're starting to get some good numbers now. This is number five. Again on the um, on the nymph there. This is a cute little fish, really. See you later, buddy. See you later. Just in that sort of uh, the pocket of the sort of slowish water there. We've got two sort of feeding lanes either side where he was sitting there, so it's a great spot there for him to ambush and hunt for food. And I think these fish just come on the chill a bit now. You know, this water's just probably starting to warm up a little bit. And uh, who knows, maybe in an hour or so there could be some bugs or a hatch happening and then that's when they really start going. Okay, as we come here, it's quite a strong flow through there, but if we uh, get, a, get a cast on the other side there and maintain a good drift, I think we're going to get a fish there. Provided we don't spook one either, because the water's super clear. And if we catch a fish here, it's uh, going to be on for young and old. I'll give you the tip.
There he is there. <laughs> Alright, so we have just to keep his head up then really. Otherwise he goes in the current. <laughs> it's gonna make it a bit harder. Beautiful. That was a lovely little rocky it takes seat on. Oi! It's a nearly fall over. Oh wow! <laughs> Did you look at that folks? Look at these man. <laughs> Obviously got some sort of deformity. What an, what an ugly looking mouth. But look at the colours on him. Yeah, right. Got a few little scuff marks there, probably just like jumping in the river and stuff. Swimming in the river, I mean. Hopefully, uh, that deformed mouth doesn't affect you with the ladies, mate. See you later. <laughs> oh, let's we'll see if there's another one there. So you know, just leave the rod tip nice and high. I'm trying to eliminate my line sitting in that fast current because that will just drag my fly um, really unnaturally. I think we're a bit further up there. <laughs> oh, he's right in front of me and oh, he took it. What? What happened there? What on earth happened there? I spooked him because he ran right away from me, but he must have my nymph in his mouth. Oh, he's a nice fish too. That is just bizarre. Oh, that is bizarre. <laughs> uh, I don't really have an explanation for that, but anyway. That was a really nice fish. Yeah, lovely fish. Doesn't have as much of those red spots and stuff, but you know. Nonetheless, a quality fish. Beautiful little brownie, mate. Off he goes. Off he goes. Well, folks, uh, I'm going to wrap it up there just for now because it has been a cracking little session. It was a very slow start, but I feel like from 10 o'clock to now, it's really really turned it on so it's really good and some nice quality fish too beautiful colors in these uh southwest gippsland brown trout here they really are just some stunning colored fish in this particular river here so look i've had an absolute ball uh really good to get a bend in the road and really good to finally get some um nice trout and uh as this trout season sort of is progressing into its first month so uh, look thanks for watching hope you've really enjoyed that don't forget to hit that thumbs up or subscribe button if you like the content even if you want drop a comment so we can uh, talk in the, in the comment section there and then encourage more people with you to see my channel so yeah look tight lines and see you next time on Tommy time cheers <laughs>